मतलब हाय स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज श्रीनिवास आई एम ए लेक्चरर इन फिजिक्स लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक इज लेंस एब्रेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो फॉर डिविएशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द थिन लेंस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर टॉपिक डिविएशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ थिन लेंस थिन लेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू लेट अस टेक अ कॉन्केव Length of focal length is there. So this is the concave length of the focal length is there. Let us take a point object on the principal axis of the thin lens or concave lens. So this is the principal axis of the lens. What is the main principal axis? The the line passes through the center of the curvature of the lens is known as the principal axis of the lens so let us take a point object o on the principal axis so o is the point object is taken on the principal principal axis of the thin lens so the o ray is bending on the lens so that is i h so o a o a Light ray incidenting on the lens takes height from the principal axis. C is the center of center of the lens or pole of the lens. So after refracting, the light ray is traveling in the direction of A B. So A B light ray is the deviated light ray. So the image is formed on the principal axis at the point B. So first, first we have to take a one lens, a thin lens. That is the concave lens. Focal length of the lens is y. Yes. Another one, the point object taken on the principal axis of the lens. So the Fourier light ray incidenting on the lens is high from the principal axis. After refracting, the light ray. Traveling in the direction of A B, so the image is formed on the principal axis at point B. So the distance between the object and the center of the lens is U. That means that is the image. Sorry, that is the object distance of the lens that is indicated by U. So the distance between the center of the lens to image is indicated by b that is the image distance of the object so this is the diagram so let us take a alpha is the small angle between the incident light ray and the principal axis of the lens and the beta is the angle between the deviated light ray or refracted Light ray and the principal axis of the lens. If there is no lens here, the incident light ray is the traveling in the direction of A B. So here there is no lens. So the incident light is traveling in the direction of O A D. So here the angle between the actual part of the light ray and the deviated light ray. So here, so this is the actual part of the light. This is the deviated light. So the angle between the actual part of the light and the deviated light is known as the angle of deviation. That is indicated by delta. So here we have a three triangles. So we have to know from first triangle, triangle. Sorry, A O B. Here we have a triangle A O B. Here triangle A O B is like this. So this is the point O. This is the point A. This is the point B. Here alpha. 
here beta here delta so we know that according to the principle of triangles the outer angle is equal to the sum of the opposite angles that's why you can write delta equal to alpha plus beta here delta equal to alpha plus beta here delta is the outer angle that is the deviation angle so alpha is the angle between the incident line and the principal axis of the lens beta is the angle between the deviated line and the principal axis let us take here this is the equation one so we have a another triangle o a c triangle r angle Beta is x by 
v. So now we have to apply the sign conversion. What is the sign conversion? Sign conversion means we have always taken the measurements from center of the lens or pole of the lens. So if in the direction of the you take the measurement from the C, we always take the direct in the direction of the incident light ray. We have take a negative positive sign. In the opposite direction of the incident light ray, we have to take a negative sign. So here we have to take first of all from center of the lens. The measurements are taken from center of the lens. The the object distance is taken from center of the lens from C to O. So C to O is the direction is opposite direction to the Incident light ray. That's why U is negative. So let us find the image distance. How to measure the image distance from center of the lens to the point B? So the center of the lens to point B is in the direction of the incident light ray. That's why B is positive. How to take negative and positive? You always measure the measurement from the center of the lens, so or pole of the lens. So C to O. First of all, you have to find the image object distance. Object distance means C to O or O to C. You have you have always measure the measurement from C only. That's why we can take from C to O. So C to O direction. Opposite direction to the incident light ray. That's why U is negative. So why V is positive? Here you take a that you take a measurement B from C to B. So C to B is the direct in the direction of the incident light ray. That's why you take you can take V is positive. Okay. So now e, the sign conversion is. Delta equal to h by u. So h by u, u is negative sign. That's why u equal to minus u. That's why h by minus u plus h by v have a positive sign. That's why there is no change in the sign in that equation. That's why h by u. So this is equal to you can take h common from this equation. H into minus one by u plus one by v. So this is equal to this equation also written as like this one by v minus one by u. This is the in this equation is in the form of one by f equal to one by v minus one by u. Here one by One by f is equal to one by v minus one by u. This is the focal length formula for the lens. That's why you can write in the in the place of one by v minus one by v, one by u is one by f. That's why u equal delta equal to h into one by f. So this is equal to h by f. Yeah. Delta equal to h by f. Here, what is the delta? Delta is the angle of deviation. Angle of deviation means the actual path of the incident light ray and the deviated light ray is known as the angle of deviation. So here, the angle of deviation of the incident lens is equal to h by f. So the angle of deviation is does not depending on the Position of the object. This is only depending on the eye at which incident light ray incidenting on the lens and the focal length of the lens only. That means the angle of deviation is the ratio between the at which the light ray incidenting on the light incident incident on the lens and the the focal length of the lens. Angle of deviation. 
So that's equal to h by yeah. 